This is the 21st problem, chapter 3 of class 12, NCRT book, part 1. We need to determine the current drawn from a 12 volt power supply. Think about a 12 volt power supply connected here. And that power supply has an internal resistance of 0.5 ohm. So we will make this something like can complete this circuit something like make create a register and then a power supply like this. Each register and this is a this is an there is an infinite network. 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, then again 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, and then it keeps on extending to the infinity. In this case, how much is the current drawn from this circuit? So, what is happening is, let us say the current starts flowing from this circuit to this branch. So, the current flows into this 1 ohm and then it gets divided as it flows to this, it gets divided into this branch and this branch. So only a smaller part of this current that is starts from here is available on, on this ohm. And it again gets divided when it flows from this point, it gets reduced in this and then even a smaller part flows into this. And then as this continues, the current goes smaller and smaller as it goes on and somewhere at the infinity it tends to zero. So this is uh, the concept of some kind of a limit or continuity or an infinite series which get, keeps getting reduced. To solve this problem, we are, we, we are, this is our circuit we have, has been redrawn. And the trick to this whole problem is we assume that looking from here, from these two points on this side, let us assume that the resistance, equivalent resistance of this infinite circuit is R. Okay, that is the first principle. Then the second thing you need to do is cut this circuit from here and look at for the resistance from these two points, remove the circuit right to it and look from here the circuit on this side. Because this is infinite, goes up to infinity, the way you, if you see the circuit from here, to the left of it, and looking at this circuit, is the same as looking at the circuit from this point to this, because this is the whole infinite. These two circuits are same. In other words, the, the equivalent resistance looking from these two points into this is same as the equivalent resistance on these two points looking from this. In other words, if if the if if the if we say that the equivalent resistance from here is R, then we can replace the whole circuit from this point onwards by R, where R is also the equivalent resistance of the circuit looking from this point to, to this one. Now this circuit becomes, we have reduced this infinite problem into a finite problem. We have a 12 volt battery, a 0.5 ohm internal resistance of this battery, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm resistor and R with the knowledge that the equivalent resistance between these two points is R. So what is the equivalent resistance of this circuit looking from here? We have a resist this R and this 1 ohm are in parallel, so their equivalent resistance will be R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 or R into 1 plus R plus 1 or R divided by 1 plus R. And then we have a circuit that has 1 ohm resistance R, R into 1 and 1 plus R and 1 ohm resistor. These three resistors are in series. And what is their equivalent resistance? Their equivalent resistance is 1 plus R divided by 1 plus R plus 1. And this equivalent resistance is equal to R. 
which is the resistance looking from here. That's what we assume. So we have an equation that is only in terms of R and it should be possible to solve this equation for R. 1 plus 1 is 2. R divided by 1 plus R is equal to R. Multiply the whole equation by 1 plus R. We get R into 1 plus R on the right hand side. 2 plus 2R plus R. We get 2 plus 3R. R into R is R square. This is R. This 3R let's say go to the this side becomes R minus 3R is minus 2R and the 2 goes to this side so it becomes minus 2R square minus 2R minus 2 is equal to 0. R is equal to minus B plus minus under root B square which is 4 minus 4 into 2 4 AC minus 4 into minus 2 into 1 is 8 divided by 2A. So this becomes 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus minus this is square root of 12 or 4 into 3 or 2 root 3. 2, two cancel so this R becomes 1 plus minus square root 3. It cannot be negative for we discard the negative sign. The value of R is square root of 3 plus 1. So how does the circuit looks like? The circuit looks like a single resistance. The circuit looks like a 0.5 ohm internal resistance and then there is a battery of 12 volt and then there is a resistor that has a value of square root of 3 plus 1. So how much is the current flowing into this? The current flowing will be given by I is equal to V divided by R. V is 12 volt and R is square root of 3 plus 1 plus battery internal resistance 0.5. The variations of these, this problem can be there and all the infinite series resistance problem has this trick that you need to replace the equivalent resistance R with its next next uh, series with that equivalent resistance and it should simplify the problem and then you can, can continue the problem as any other normal problem.